I just lost it. <laughs> Great. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Welcome to the CFG Gamecast episode number 41, a weekly podcast created by gamers and streamers alike to discuss the latest gaming topics from the previous week. We stream a new episodes on the weekends and release it on podcast services like Apple and Google Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, and Podbean. Or you could go to our main website, thecfg.net, to see all other uh, other content from the previous times. So and uh, so, give us a like, a follow, a comment, what have you, to any of those services to not miss an episode. I am Davis Green with CFG Games himself, and uh, we are with my two awesome co-hosts. As always, I have Lex on the second seat. What's going on? I think you're Lex? muted. Am I muted? Lex no. is I muted. I muted myself. Was... <laughs> Hi. Just kidding. I'm doing great. Uh, you know, just been hanging out, playing games. Yesterday was Monday off. Made some cookie dough. So if you want some smitty, let me know. Um, but yeah, just been just been hanging out and doing doing games and stuff. You said you got cookie dough, but you're cooking it. So wouldn't that make it a cookie? No, I said I made cookie dough. Oh, you made cookie dough. I thought you were baking it. Oh, I baked some, but we already ate that batch. Oh, okay. When I make Good. cookie dough, it's like a lot. So no, she I, was can, <laughs> I can just freeze just... it and then put it in the fridge and cut it up when we want it. You know? She just brings <laughs> loads of it, like a whole mound of uh, cookie dough. That sounds dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> so, I definitely got that. Well, that's cool. So anything new? Anything you've been playing recently? Uh, yeah, we were playing Deceit last night, uh, as like a huge, we were doing like a Discord party, uh, mm. we moved from mine to another streamer's Discord, uh, and there was like 15 of us that were just hanging out, like all playing different games, but there was like, uh, I think at one point a group of six, and we were playing Deceit, um, just be aware, if JTZ isn't screaming, he's lying, if you play with him, <laughs> be warned. Because uh, he'll pretend that he's not a bad guy. And you can hear it in his voice. You can hear it. He's a liar. Uh, but we had a lot of fun. And then uh, Panda and I played uh, some Monster Hunter. Uh, he's getting through the story. So uh, my character was trying to help as much as, as she possibly could at that point. But uh, yeah, we were just hanging out last night. It was a lot of fun. Y'all playing on PC or were you playing on console for that one for Monster Hunter? PC. Oh man, you just gotta play that game right. Play on peak on console with me. I have it on console. <laughs> what are you talking with about? You. I have it you on don't... console. I'm end game. You don't have the expansion. Not I... on the console. Do I look like I made her money? That's what's my problem. That's the problem. It's like uh, we can't play because we're not, we're not you're not we're in two different places. That's why that's why we can't play. I also have really bad hand arthritis, so, oh, so I am I am slowly backing away from console, but I am playing Persona at night, but I can just put it in my lap and press buttons when I want. I don't have to, like, fully, you know, immerse okay. my hands in it, so yeah. Fair enough. Good deal. I, Good um, deal. I have, I have, mo I've never actually mentioned it to you, Lex, but I have it on PC. I just don't have the expansion. Oh, look at uh, this, man. Y'all just like trying to give me reasons to get it on PC. I promise. <laughs> I wanted in a giveaway on Twitter. I want a copy on PC. I totally have a new character. I have a character on PC. <laughs> I mean, you, need to, you need to like focus on your on the, I know. like Game I know. Pass 15 just in general, period. 20 bucks, I'll play it for you. And I'll get you to the good parts so we can do sieges and stuff. Yeah. You know I made the money. I don't have the expansions. I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> I don't want to pay $40 for it. He hates the storyline. He hates the storyline. He just wants I can't. to kill things. I'm not going to, yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, the storyline was terrible. Oh but anyway, <laughs> we digress. And you we shut are on the, your mouth. On the you better move minute. on. Yes. Monster Hunter <laughs> okay. World's story is like... <laughs> Like Davis's version of uh, Anthem for Smitty. Yeah. Why does everyone compare me? I don't hate turn, Anthem. It just I don't turns hate into Anthem. an argument every time, though. You, you don't. I know you don't hate Anthem. Is this Anthem really disappointed you? That's what. That's all we. That's. I mean, we know. I it mean, that, there's no other way that we can that we can describe the disappointment. Is is your dis level of disappointment you had for that game? True. True. <laughs> By the way, we got on the third seat the, the five-star general of the itty-bitty Smitty Committee. We got Smitty on the third seat. What's going on, buddy? Chilling, my friend. We uh, I ended up having to cut uh, stream short this past Friday. However, on Thursday, I had the opportunity through uh, noise.gg to sign up for uh, uh, the 
this this basically is just came out in early access it, uh, it's called last uh oasis i'm actually going to talk about it uh today um but uh you know so we, we were playing that and whatnot and uh it, it's a lot of fun it's a uh, pretty cool game it's it's uh different i'm not really too big in like survival mmo styles uh which it is but um you know of course having you know playing it with friends and bunch of you guys have it and stuff like that uh you know i'm, I'm having a blast but we'll, we'll talk I'm more about it here in a little bit play it. What? yeah that's cool <laughs> well, <don't> we... <laughs> no that's cool i mean i know i know i played a little bit of it with you t that day too and that was we had a good time it was just me and the three just the three of us so we had a good time just yeah. to have <laughs> Just to add more just into it. Salt. With... Just rub that salt. <laughs> I wasn't rubbing that salt. I didn't mean to, at least. I didn't inadvertently mean to. It was funny, but still. <laughs> but uh, but still, I mean, but, yeah. So, but it was good. It was good. Well, I can't wait to hear your topic on that. Yeah. Um, as for me, I've just been incredibly, as always, busy, as always. Uh, I, yeah. Although I did, however, was able to have two different days I was able to stream. So I was actually <gasps> proud of myself. Nice. Yeah. I haven't, yeah, I haven't been able to stream for the past month almost. It was crazy. And, uh, and, uh, uh, originally I promised I was going to release a video or a video review of Persona 5 Royal yet on Friday. Well, I apologize for that for the people who do go, uh, who go on the website, confreaksandgeeks.com, but we will release it tomorrow. And, uh, and uh, so definitely check that out if you like it definitely do uh, give us do us a favor and, and uh tell us what you think about it so uh we'll get on to it we'll just keep on going and uh let's get into the nice meat and potatoes of the review so as always each of us chooses a new topic or discussion uh, from the previous week the topic would or could be about a specific game or something that happened in the gaming industry uh we don't want to talk about it amongst ourselves we want you the listeners or the viewers uh, the, uh on the uh, stream to be uh, to be a part of the conversation so if you do have a uh, an opinion no opinion to uh, no opinions too dumb no opinion too great just definitely just post it on there we would love to have you to to interact with us uh on our conversation so feel free to do it and uh also just an update alert we are nine away from uh, <coughs> uh from getting uh getting uh, close to affiliate status so yeah. definitely give us if you like yeah if you definitely love if you definitely love what you hear definitely give us a fa do us a favor give us a follow on uh, uh on twitch so we hit that goal and we can actually do some awesome, more awesome things in the future. So there you go. Anyways, let us get this uh, this party started. Uh, so Smitty, what do you what do you bring into the table? So like I said, um, I had the opportunity to play this game, Last of Us, uh, or Last of Us. Uh, I keep doing that. <laughs> Last Oasis. Last I keep us. doing that. I know. Always. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> last. <laughs> the Last of Us. <laughs> I can't get that out of my head. Clearly, uh, I'm ready for part two. Uh, but but today we're gonna talk about Last Oasis. Uh, it's a it, it was a uh, or it's a survival um, MMO game like we were saying. It kind of reminds me uh, a little bit of um, of like a Conan or something like that. I had the the opportunity to be able to stream it here. Uh, the other day, uh, you know, playing with you guys, played with Doc, Dust, um, you know, a bunch of other people got it, uh, Lukaru, um, I know Lex has it now, um, uh, uh, LV Girl has it, so, uh, I mean, there's, there definitely seems to be a thriving, this, again, this is a, a smaller developer, it's called Donkey Crew out of, uh, Poland, and donkey uh, that's yeah, I know that is hilarious. Uh, <laughs> donkey crew, <laughs> donkey, donkey crew. crew. <laughs> yeah. Um, Welcome so to the ba crew. basically, and and the unique thing about it is that again, it's an MMO uh, survival uh, game essentially. However, um, the premise of the story is that the world has stopped, and now the sun is encroaching and burning things up. So essentially, you have to build these walkers. You saw it in the background there. Um, that you can travel with and you can you know they start being able to upgrade and you can build bigger ones because essentially you're going to be it's a nomadic uh, style of play so basically your camp uh, or your base you can put on you know what I mean the back of your cart or in your vehicle and take it along with you as you move from oasis to oasis. Um, so it's, I thought that aspect of it was pretty interesting for this being a early access pre-alpha build like it's pretty clean However, we've run into some issues 
Um, now their servers the last two days, I haven't been able to, I know Dust hasn't been able to, uh, log into their servers and Dust, uh, thank you for checking up on this. He actually just sent something, uh, here a little bit ago to me and I wanted to, uh, pull it up, uh, real quick. We just got word, uh, from their developers, uh, they just put something out. So I wanted to just play that real quick because what's happening right now is that, um, the uh, the the it's hit or miss as far as server wise i think um they underestimated i mean again it's hard to estimate like we were talking about before uh how many people are really going to go uh, go on <laughs> but there's a lot of like you know there's a streamer push and this and that and i think there was a lot more interest in this game and there has been uh than what their servers can handle and what they anticipated uh so yeah. they've been having major issues they basically and i'm going to go do it here in a second uh, are saying that they're going to take seven days to work on uh, the servers. Let's listen to this, and then let's come back. I want to see what your guys' thoughts uh, real quick. Uh, hey, before are, you do that, uh, yes. are you gonna, Are we going to be able to hear it on our side too? So, so uh, Because it, if it does, it's going to have a quiet noise for the, for no, the no, podcast. No, no, no. You shouldn't be able to hear it on your side. You can't hear, uh, uh, you can't hear the videos, right? Uh, no, well, yeah. Well, what's the? I, I was just gonna mute and open up the. Yeah, what's the what's the link? Uh, oh, what's the yeah, link yeah. To the... Here, let me. Uh, hold on. Uh, it's actually in the Steam store. Where is that message at? Here it is. Hold on. Let me just. This is just for the uh, podcast. The podcast reasoning only. Okay. So we'll we'll. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, this will, and I could drop. I'll just drop it straight in chat too, so anybody else can check it out uh, as well. But uh, yeah, so I still I haven't had a chance to listen to this uh, either yet. So uh, this will be a first go for me. Um, but if you guys are ready, we will we will play this real okay. quick. Hi everyone, Chats here from Donkey Crew. I'm sure you Hi noticed everyone, that our survey is still crew. ongoing. I'm sure you noticed um, that our survey is still ongoing. Many of you are currently ongoing. not able to connect um, to last. Basis. Many of you are currently not so able to connect. So we decided to last two basis. things. First of all, so we are going to take the servers off. First of all, for roughly seven days, we are going to take the server off. Our code has been working for roughly seven days. Uh, to uh, our code has been working day and night. We need uh, to, to properly investigate sleep. why our load we need testing to properly didn't pick this up. Investigate and why our load testing and didn't pick this up. Properly and so and what went wrong. And, and the other thing, well, a lot of you mentioned that the other thing, early access game should launch. A lot of you mentioned before this is not an early access game should launch, and we fully agree. This is so we decided Oops. that everyone Oops. who is currently unhappy with the so we decided that everyone who is currently unhappy with the state of the game in game hours, no question that. Regardless of the, regardless of the uh, so just ten game hours, no question that. that. Uh, so just uh, have, we also received we some positive messages, Aww. which are very we received uh, some nice positive hear, messages, all which are very chaos, so thank you for uh, those. Nice to hear. Uh, we promise this chaos. We are going to deliver. Uh, we promise many people said we are going to deliver. Great. Uh, they just many people said that this game is great. So we'll deliver on the promise. They just want to be as soon as space. possible. So we'll we deliver really on the promise. Truly as sorry as possible about this. We are really this. Truly uh, sorry uh, about this. situation. This uh, will resolve it. And thanks for your patience. Thank. We'll resolve it. And thanks for your patience. Thank so you. there you go. So I thought their handling of this, uh, you know, again, they've been transparent. Uh, everybody's been seeing and feeling the issues. The game, again, it came out, uh, was it Friday? It was the 26th, Thursday or Friday is when it came out. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we were able to play and then like slowly the server started having, we, I mean, we were dropping on like four FPS and stuff like that. So you could clearly see that there was an issue, but I think they're seeing that it, the issue, you know, whatever they're experiencing is bigger than what they, they thought. I like the fact that they're able to take a breath like address the community hey guys we understand uh you know but we think it's necessary for us to do this to correctly solve the issue and get you guys back in uh to play in the game um so yeah. i kind of wanted to see what your guys thoughts were uh as far as with that and and just the game in general okay first of all i will say execution wise this is probably the best way i've ever seen like you know a a developer that saw that has that sees an issue you know i mean like it's bad news i mean it's oh it's good it is bad that that people aren't going to get what they were expecting to get in any way but yeah. as opposed to what we've 
always had or when always, something has always has happened that, that has critically failed or something big that, that 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 has failed we're not left in the dark you know the like mm-hmm. to a point where it's like oh wow what this the, uh, so they we i mean because that it would have been worse if the people who spent 30 dollars on this game it was 30 dollars right i believe uh 25 yeah, so Oh, 25, yeah. So the people who spent money in this game and then they didn't get their services and then and then all of a sudden they were just they, they just shut down and then they were, they just said, oh, we're having some difficulties and then they don't really go into that level of di- of what, what's going on, you know? Like, how long is it going to be down for? Like, it would have been a lot worse than what uh, than what than what's happening right now. So uh, so kudos to them on that. I will, I'll definitely give them props to that. And what, what really sucks, though, too, is that this game, especially... This was uh, it, it's not officially out on Steam yet. It's technically on the test. It's the uh, it's the pre uh, the pre release of it, and to say and then they, they they were they've been stouting that this is just an alpha build, which is even crazier because when uh, when Smitty and I played this, I was saying repeatedly during that time of a play, I was like, this doesn't feel like an alpha. This feels more like a beta, and then, mm-hmm. I mean, and that's saying a lot because the way it was smoothly running, and it was probably because the servers were not packed. But like how everything, everything that was running in this game was so nice and was so was very was very smooth. So if they're going to figure out to make it the to get to make it more stable for for a bigger community, then so freaking be it. I can wait the seven days and uh, and, I, and I'm pretty sure anyone can at this point in time because I mean there's so much that, there's so much out there. So, uh, but like the uh, the big thing is is that yeah, I mean, I really think that they did a great job on on on. Conv- uh, communicating the what's going on on their side and what their plan of action is to get this fixed so uh so i mean there's uh it's it sucks but but hey but i uh, i would definitely this is something that I, this is not making me as mad to say i'm i'm not going to give them my money uh for for an unfinished product or something like that this makes me actually say okay i'll still t- I, i'll wait and then uh, see when it comes out i'll still give it a chance what about you legs <clears throat> Oh, I'm Sorry, I was trying to gra- get Adam to go grab Dax. He's <sighs> screaming. Um, <laughs> you know, so Adam told me that Smitty was like, hey, I got a key. Come play with me. And that he was like, it kind of looks like industrial. And I'm so excited because Adam's all big into like uh, industrial punk and um, anything to do with like Egyptian history. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I mean, that piqued his interest went right away. Uh, I can tell you. Adam will sit and play a game for quite a long time, but usually he'll get up and like come over and say hi to me. He was gone for the entire day, didn't say a word to me, didn't get up to eat. I had to go to him and ask him. I was like, "Are you? Do you want to eat something?" He was like, "No, I'm good." He was going crazy on this game, and he loved it. So that's a big deal. And if you guys don't know my lovely partner, he is one judgy little, you know what? So. <laughs> And that goes for people in games. He's one of the sweetest people, best person I've ever met in my life. But he will be very honest. And yesterday, he was like, yeah, we're taking turns trying to get on the server. I'm really sad about it. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was like, I know Smitty's trying to, but Smitty's been playing Destiny. And I want him to play this with me. And, 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 mm-hmm. and you know, Lucaro keeps putting stuff in the basket. And I was like, I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> um so you know he was really sad that he couldn't play yesterday so that's like a huge like a plus on their part i had no idea this was an alpha i thought this was a full release um Mm. it looks great and i love the storage aspect of it it looks very much like path um so you know that gives an extra star for me um how they handled it is amazing because here's the deal a lot of developers like stuff goes down and it's like okay, it's been a week, what's going on? And nobody, it's just dead silence. Whereas they were up front, they came out, they were honest. And that's awesome. I mean, I've, look, I know it's hard to test your servers. I've complained about this. Uh, how many times now? Um, a lot. Yeah. You've done it a lot. Every time it's yeah. come up. Hmm. Look, you should test your servers. <laughs> However, if this is an alpha, I get it. That's kind of a different situation, right? Because they were aware that this is an alpha. This isn't even in beta. This isn't a full release. This is a game that they are testing to see if it works. And, you know, that that's what this is for, right? Mm-hmm. Like, this is what alphas are for, to see how hard the push is going to be. And I don't think that's amazing that they were just overwhelmed by people because that means that they're going to have returned people. They underestimated. It, yeah, yeah, they underestimated yeah. Now, which is a good problem to have, but... 
uh, but at the same time, though, like uh, there, there. I guess the, the weird caveat is I, I'm not a big fan of when people when they when they when they sell incomplete like a non incomplete you know product because we it, that's now saying now they feel now the person who spent that money is feeling obligated like like it's like the the saving grace that they have on this is the fact of how tra is their level of transparency of what's happening because right. normally that that because normally and then and how normally games run like this they don't that does not exist right. so like the, yeah so like uh to say that uh because in in other in any other certain situation to say that you put in that much money or you put in 30 bucks or 25 dollars or whatever and then you didn't get what you were wanting usually people are immediately pissed uh right. pissed on this and then and then let alone saying that we're gonna this thing's gonna be down for seven days if the people will be like even aggravatedly angrier so so i guess i'm not a, uh that that's the one thing that i'm always kind of uh, i'm always kind of iffy on is like what what like if y'all are still actively working on this why are y'all asking for money uh uh money in in, in advance before it like is this money being used for the current production of what you're being what's being done because if that's the case that's kind of scary because you'll know that if, if it will ever be done yeah. or anything so I, so that's the only deal it, it, yeah. the game... go ahead go ahead go ahead Smitty. Oh, I was, I was gonna say, and we and we've kind of had that conversation too before, talking about games that you purchase early access or whatever. And I mean, essentially, they're now they're going away from a testing model where they used to just give it out for people to beta test and whatnot to hey, pay right. to be a beta tester. Uh, which right. I, you know, I mean, it's like mm, I don't know, but again, I think they're the saving grace about this is them being open about open about it and how they how they are managing it uh, right now. You know, I, I think there's a, also a kudos to their marketing team or whoever is doing the marketing for them, getting it into the hands of all these streamers and letting them have access to it, I think has had a huge surge, especially in the current uh, situation that's going on around the world and everybody is, is you know, indoors and whatnot. More eyeballs are out there and, and looking at that, at this stuff. Um, you know, I think that is a direct uh, uh, impact of, of that. So, you know, good job to them as far as with that. Now they just got to they got to reevaluate and and try to try to compensate for uh, the the explosion that they didn't uh, anticipate. And we'll see how they they go about it, you know, and, and how they address things. Because, again, too, you're also now building this new community. There's now a new right. community of this game that exists now. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. not only is this uh, going to be a representation of this uh, indie company and their game, this is also going to be, you know, we get to see how their this new community uh, reacts. Is it going to be toxic like I've, you know, you've seen in some communities or are they, you know, you know, it's always nice seeing these, these it's like, it's really like the birth of, of something new and we're getting to see it in its infancy. Right. Mm. Um no, go, go for it. No, go for it. I already said. I already talked a lot. <laughs> I mean, and and Anna makes a really good point. Like a lot of games, they, they do like free weekends. They do a lot of different testings. Uh, charging for it at this for at this point. I mean, here's my question: Do they have a GoFundMe? Probably not. God, uh, I hope not. <laughs> and these are assumptions. These are assumptions I'm making. I, I'm not looking at it right now. But like, I, I they probably don't have a GoFundMe. Uh, it's probably just a small crew and I and I understand the reason that they're charging for it from that aspect the game looks mm. fantastic though I mean look at it this is an alpha shut up I've seen alphas th that are not even close to this before you know what I mean and I feel like these guys they clearly they're passionate about what they're doing they love what they're doing and it just it looks fantastic come on i yeah. that's worth 25 I mean, bucks don't get me. me wrong even on the look of it I mean no, I'll be like literally Smitty and I played this like late it wasn't like uh it wasn't like yeah. no, how we normally do it we played it like at i played it at 11 o'clock my time and yeah. we played for like four hours so the game is addicting and yeah. the game is like and the game is like uh does play like reminded me immediately of arc but like i never really got into arc comparatively uh but yeah. to this like this like the nomadic the nomadic feel the fighting the the abilities that you or like the the equipment that you make is freaking awesome and I'd like uh, the, and it is a very it's a very good game it's like the the style of the game and what they were wanting to do is done very well even the regular fighting it was actually kind of uh there was a mechanic to it too so yeah. i was just yeah. yeah so i was yeah so definitely uh i would be patient uh I, i'm willing to be patient for this game i mean i'm not 
I'm not uh, I'm not worried or fret about seven. The, it's uh, with the seven days. They're, the, what's cool is that it's not like they're they're improving on they're improving the servers to right. so they can keep the capacity up. So yeah. that's a good thing, if anything. And uh, and then God, we and we all since we are in this situation with COVID nineteen. I know we all have back <laughs> backlogs, so yeah. so I mean, so we could we can keep ourselves occupied. Just just give it some time, and then and then go with uh, go with it. But like uh, uh, for the most part, yeah, um, yeah, I enjoy it. Uh, okay, yeah. Men Mark says I like this. I like he says like uh, as long as it's not like uh, <laughs> uh, it's like as long as it's not in the, like another No Man's Skies, I don't mind. <laughs> so well, yeah. you know what? No Man's Skies nice now is arc, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, No Man's Skies now is like is worth good, is worth it. But like No Man's Skies when it first came out, yeah, uh, yeah I totally agree. Because like how No Man's Skies treated it, and let alone how the way No Man's Skies treated it was even worse so it was like hey the game's out then there was six months of silence like because right. they knew that they didn't give what they what they promised initially and then they were just trying to like you know hide behind the uh, uh the just hide behind the the drapes there just trying pretending to see that they're that they're not there but they're actively but they were actively working to make it what they were what they were promising only the only wish i had was that they were just straight up about it that's all i that's all i wish it's like you kind of have to give some people that level of benefit of the doubt and i know that and i know the 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 where we live uh, the the time that we live in especially with trolls and everything it's but it, it's but it still has to be done man that that's just what that's just what it has to be because i mean yeah. now most people most people are giving this guy these people they're giving this company uh uh, these people like I, a level of leniency comparatively than I don't think that they would have thought that they would have ever thought, you know? Mm. Yeah. So we'll see. Oh, all right. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> all right, Lex, you're up at bat. What do you bring into the table? Well, if you guys remember, especially for us avid video gamers, you might have mm. had, you know, in 2018, a family member come and talk to you about how uh, gaming is an addiction uh, because the health, uh, the World Health Organization deemed it so uh, gaming disorder in 2018. Well, fun fact, health organization has now come out and said a prescription for not being able to play with your friends would be to go play video games, right? So now they're backtracking and they're saying, oh, you're all stuck inside. And, you know, a healthy way to social distance is to play video games with each other. So they've teamed up. Um, <laughs> I'll read a little bit of the article. Video games are being prescribed as a recommended treatment for our ongoing homebound existence brought on by the corona pandemic. Game makers from Activision Blizzard to Cigna. I, I think I'm saying that incorrectly. Zigna? Zynga? Um. Oh, wait, Zynga. Z -Y -N -G -A? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Zynga. Zynga. On Saturday, began kicking off a new initiative entitled Hashtag Play Apart Together to encourage people on how to entertain themselves and also practice physical distancing. The initiative, supported by the World Health Organization, also known as WHO, is particularly noteworthy because WHO previously designated video games as an addiction, as an official mental health disorder but the group hopes that the industry can reach millions with important messages to help prevent the spread of covid uh the who ambassador for global strategy in a statement came game companies will encourage players to stay distanced and observe other safety measures including hand hygiene he said uh i find this really interesting i mean obviously for us game gamers that was just kind of an obvious it was like well now i've got all this time to go back and play games i didn't get to play right um because and people have been telling me I'm bored in the Discord or I want someone to talk to. Here's my thoughts. Like gaming obviously was one of my first options when I thought about it. But also I've got boxes in my garage I can go through that need to be gone through. I have weeds to go pick. I'm still getting over the sickness, um, a cold or flu, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> so I still feel really weak. So I didn't want to go outside and start doing like, you know, heavy duty work. So I've been inside playing games and it's just kind of like an obvious for us. Uh, but for those people that don't necessarily play games, it's funny. I got a text right before we went live. My mom's childhood best friend and my mom's 65. Okay. Her best friend, Pampy, her husband, Jeff, who's much younger. I think he's maybe 40 in his forties, uh, messaged my mom and asked what my Twitch profile was so that he could come and hang out. This is where it's going. Right. So 
I mean, it's just it it it's just so funny to me. Like my uncle Gary came by the other night, and like he didn't want to message and chat. He was like, "I feel like an old fart, and I don't know what pog means." So he messaged me on Facebook and was like, "Oh, you're really good at it." I was like, "Thanks." Did you expect anything less? You know my father. But, you know, it's just, it's so funny to me. And then, you know, now my Uncle Gary's like, do you, so you can play Uno online with other people? I'm like, yeah, dude, get Uno, we'll play. He's like, how do I get it? I'm like, well, you download Steam and you do this and you do that. And, and so now I've got, you know, my dad's best friend playing Uno with me. And I'm like, I, guys, I got work I got to do. Like, I'm backlogged on other stuff too. But it's mm. just, I find it so funny that, who or world health organization is completely backtracking they're like well how do we keep people inside uh because the people are still not taking this seriously mm -hmm. and if we don't social distance it's not going to get better um you know and it's it, it sucks but this is like the situation that we're in right now and you know it's and you know they, they go on and say video games are not just a diversion but you know they get your imagination going and yada 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 and it's just well it's, it's like i find it interesting well the irony of it it's like okay yeah you're totally right i mean i'm already like it, it's it's funny because it's like it's so easy to blame gaming to be an issue or uh to be an issue for a lot of things like gun violence and all these different kinds of stupid the stupidity the stupidity throughout the years and then let alone when the world health organization was claiming that it's a that it's a disease of some sort yeah it's just like was just f so far-fetched to me it's beyond uh it's beyond my my like you know just my 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 deal just just thinking about it just just kind of yeah irritates me to just think to, to think for that so but then now the same organization that says that that was saying that to uh to push it towards people it's it's like it feels like that the reason why they're backtracking is that they're trying to find a, an excuse or a reason which that uh but that kind of gives it a gray line in my opinion uh for 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 trusting uh the world health organization Absolutely. Um, because because like th if that's the case then you're telling me that basically they can easily they could easily retract kind of what they were saying before about one thing and then back it out because depending on the situation it could be either better or it could be or it could be uh it could be worse and then like uh to say uh to to say now that it's like oh no it's perfectly fine now because of given the fact that it's covid 19 uh since covid 19's out and then you're keeping your brain active and stuff it's good because of that that circumstance but when it's not when there's not corona outside then it's like okay then 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 we're yeah, gonna, it's uh, then it's a problem it's right. like you kind of lost your credibility with that kind of stuff so like uh, it's just uh so it's just just put it to the table on on just people just just making uh a, a, an excuse or a, a a loophole because like when you say that it's a disease then then people now have a reason on uh on blaming it because of that Absolutely. and then yeah so and i never i never when i when i heard it originally i was like this is ridiculous this is not it's not a disease it's just people is playing to uh, uh, it's not a matter of a person need, needing to live towards it so uh, yeah, it's just, it's so, it's so annoying. It's so, so annoying to hear about that. what do you think, Smitty? I believe that's called addiction. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is an just addiction. Just out. It is, yeah. Yeah, it's um, an addiction. I, I think Not you, a disease. I, yeah, I, I think uh, you hit it uh, right on the head there when addiction you said that this is a mental health disorder in its own way. In Which a way, is, but it's not but necessarily, it's, it's yeah. Not like I don't think it's just. Playing video games it, means you're. Exactly. You, like, I don't think it's specific. I play tons of video games, but I'm not an addict. Like, right. There's a right. Difference. Right. It's just right. like how some people gamble in like Vegas and stuff, but right. not everybody's there because they're addicted to gambling. Exactly. Right. Or, or they call or they call gambling a disease. <laughs> Let yeah. alone, I mean, like if that was the case, it's so ridiculous. So I mean, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. What were you saying, Smitty? Your yeah, your your yeah. point. No. So I think you're right. It, it it just really exposes the hypocrisy and and to me really lessens their credibility as far as you know you can't on on one end say oh this is you know all that stuff and and this or that you know and then come back and say oh well why you guys are inside like it shouldn't be uh, based off of a situational thing because now you're telling me two different things that is good and it's bad uh which right. i mean is true about i mean everything everything but, you know <laughs> yeah. how you frame it Oh. Yeah. video games anyway when all this stuff started happening was just people clutching their pearls at technology 
It yeah. always is the this case, though. Scary technology, all these yeah. video games. Ooh. Yeah, well, and that's one of the things, too. I said this is going to force people. all the time with every time there's, like, new advancements in society or people are more open about things. Like, being gay used to be considered a mental disorder, too. Like, the, all this know, stuff. Like, all the time people just like to call things mental disorders because they don't understand it or, like, they're afraid of things. Yeah. Like, if women had emotions, they used to say that was a whole disorder on its own, and it's like, it's not. <laughs> oh, hysteria. Like it's, yeah, hysteria, hysteria, which was resolved with drugs and vibrators. Right. Or, I mean, like, too, I mean, even, yeah, and there, I feel like there's, like, a long history of that, too, where one thing that was legal or, or this was the mentality, you know, it's like the chimes, times change. Time's and, changing, yeah. Same with, like, stuff with, like, weed. Mm-hmm. Well, overall, though, this is just, like, like I mean, but come on, it's just the same so kind of stupid videos. nonsense. Yep. Yeah, but, no, but it's just, just, I mean, but it's just the nonsense that, like I said, it's always common to see when you, when something happens, when something bad happens, when a school shooting happens, it's always the point, the first point to blame of it is because it's always usually gaming. And back in 92, when, uh, when they were, when they, when they created the ESRB uh, because of freaking people like Ken Starr back in the day, because they saw one one game or two games i'm sorry Come mortal kombat and uh mortal kombat and sewer sharks uh oh when they came when that when that came out oh they God. they basically that that whole flip of uh flip uh, people flip their lids on it saying that wow this kind of violence is like uncalled for it even let's go further back when they thought that rock and roll was the devil yep. and that kind of stupid stuff so i mean it's just a, i mean it's just like it's just a matter Dungeons of like and dragons with satanism right yeah so i mean it's just i mean it's just a matter of people with the level of misunderstood but that's the difference between people uh with society with the old cronies mm -hmm. uh with societies not accepting that but to say so that the world always... health yeah the world health organization to say that it's a disease as opposed to like you know i don't know like like i said gambling is would you consider does, does anyone consider gambling a disease or an addiction or does That's anyone right. considers uh does anyone consider like a uh, uh, certain people like a uh, like a food is it a food disease when you're when you eat too much i mean, I mean i'm a fat ass and stuff. Anything. you could be addicted to it yeah. but you can't call it a disease itself that's not saying like oh we need some we need some uh, uh prescribed prescribed kind of uh, pills that's what really kind of pisses me off about this what pisses me off even more about it is how they're backtracking on it and that's what the, yeah and that's why that's where it's like oh wait we'll, we'll we'll put a pin on what we were talking about on saying this is officially a disease because this is very good for people to keep their minds preoccupied uh, instead of going outside into the uh, to the outside world yeah. so like uh, yeah for me i'll be like okay whatever would, uh, like any crap that you say in your ma uh, out of y'all's mouth uh, world health organization that won't take it seriously because i mean like when uh uh because uh, unless it's like something that i read that uh, like i check myself to see to say to say like oh yeah okay that makes sense then i'll then or maybe or a reference to a doctor or something to say the uh, legitimate doctor it's like then then what you're basically spr sprouting is just saying uh, you're just saying it to say it so yeah. i mean i don't know <laughs> well, and it's just, it's funny because I remember when in 2018, I had two deaths in my family. So I had to fly <laughs> to Houston. And at that point, like I was streaming and I was, I was just starting out and I hadn't quit my job yet um, because my health was still better than it is now. Mm -hmm. um, but I told my grandma, like, this is what I'm doing as a hobby on the side. And she, she's 90 and she kind of stopped for a moment and she goes get out of here and i said no like i'm, I'm that's what i'm doing and she goes so it's kind of like my game hand and foot which is a card game right she's like i play that six days a week with my girlfriends i'm like yeah i know you never answer a phone call because you're always playing it <laughs> but she's like so it's kind of like that but you're online and people are watching you do that and i said yeah and she goes i get it so if my 90 year old grandmother can understand something because you know the first thing here's the thing is a lot of people are sheep they read everything and they believe it automatically without doing other research right and that's what i always tell people knowledge is power and the more you know the better and you, you you're always going to find differing opinions but just because it's published on us today or the world health organization puts it out there it's not necessarily true it's not necessarily they haven't been able to do all of the testing to come out and legitimately say yes or no on certain things okay because right. gaming is still kind of new if you think about it like when the first games came out until now 
for studies, it would be in its like teenage years, right? Mm -hmm. So they would need another good 12 years to do because because these the violent games are still somewhat new, right? Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, um, name a bunch of others, regardless, you know what I mean? They haven't been able to do full studies that are 12 years. And that's how they get all of these hypotheses and information like it's just not there yet. And so it's funny that these these people who are leaders in our health organizations are just throwing out stuff, but then backtracking and going, you know, he said I'm reading a book. Why don't you play a video game? <laughs> and, I, and I've told people I have a huge book list. If you guys want to read books and you're tired of video games, because you're going to get tired of them eventually, you know, go, and not everybody has money to buy a bunch of games that they've always wanted to play. They're playing what they already have, right? Because most of us have been laid off. We don't have the extra money. And I have book lists that you can read if you want. But, you know, everyone wants to be online right now. So that was yeah. my topic. I know it was, it got a little. No, I mean, it was, I mean, it's basically, I it mean, just comes into it. all of us, so. Yeah. I mean, it just, when it goes, go, it, it affects, especially affects a lot of people on Twitch on it. Uh, tw uh, it's all, you know, it's actually, I'm more, it's more welcoming on, uh, uh, the one thing I'm glad about, uh, w with this is like, it, with them showing it is, is how they show their, how they're showing their true colors. So. I'm just uh I'm definitely uh that's the one thing I'm uh I'm definitely glad glad to see. It's like, oh okay, you're freaking hypocrites. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. Oh now we're so, the good uh, guys. Shut up. But yeah. I mean if you if you are streaming on Twitch, there's so many new people on there. Yeah. I can't tell you and like the demographic is just shooting through the roof. My dad's been on Twitch, my dad's been hanging out, his friends have been hanging out. The demographic now the boomers are coming out because they're bored solitaire is not enough for them anymore so <laughs> you know be prepared and that's awesome like great for them because look it's not this isn't scary this is where technology is taking us and if you either go with it or you can sit in your corner and cry about it right and i think a lot of people now are just so bored that they're like Meh, why not i'll give it a shot you this don't have to do anything month. you just hang out <laughs> right this is just the first month and i've already had like an influx of new people who are brand new to Twitch. They've never been here, you know. I love it. Yeah, it's great. It's good. Well, yeah. Well, that's cool. Well, that's good. No, it's a good topic, uh, Alex. Thank we'll you. go with that. So what about you, CFG? What you got? Buddy? My topic is nowhere near as good as that. So. Sorry. Yeah, my topic is about. Um, I was just reading it up just to see, like, uh, like, because uh, I when what's going on uh, going always going back to the uh, COVID-19 or coronavirus uh, I was wondering like what is the timeline for the next gen systems and uh, and I was kind of kind of was wondering there has to be some sort of level of delay possibility of a delay or something that's happening because you know I mean this is not the best climate to, to do it or yeah everyone's sick exactly and uh and uh but but it's funny because like like apparently sony and microsoft actually posted something because they were uh they were getting a lot of bombardments about that too so like i i don't know how they were or i don't know who would be taking wasting their time on letting them know that's like hey so is the system coming out is the system coming out it's like no but anyways so uh they officially said uh both sony and both microsoft said that the next gen consoles ps5 and xbox series x uh, is not uh, they're they're not it's not uh, affected by the coronavirus uh, pandemic, <laughs> which is surprising to me. So like I was like, what really? So so apparently uh, this this was a uh, something that was on Games Radar, uh, and this was there there was uh, this is I believe this is a Sony one. Oh yeah, Sony uh, released a statement on uh, Monday uh, last Monday talking about it uh they clear they say uh, they clarify that it, it's they're clear they're carefully monitoring the risk of delays in production schedules for uh, for game software titles at both the, uh, uh both its first party studios and its partner studios and then direct and then they were indirectly uh referencing uh like the last of us 2 ghost of Tush uh, uh tsushima and all the the other ones and that's what they said when they were talking about the con the hardware console they were saying that they that uh that they have no concerns of releasing uh of that being delayed uh, in itself so i was just like wow okay that's pretty cool to, uh, pretty cool for them to know it's like but then I, then I thought about it i was like so you didn't give us anything about, <laughs> about your console at all so how should we believe you on like if you're if this console is coming out this year i mean there's no there's no price there's no date there's nothing 
and then uh, uh, then literally like four hours later, uh, Microsoft says something about it, and then Microsoft says delay is unlikely. Uh, delay is uh, uh, is unlikely because uh, they got their supply they got their supply chain back on rail uh, black back in rail. So that means that now they are they are ahead. Of, they are current. Uh, they are on schedule to release what they were planning on doing, and I was like, oh, okay, this is very very interesting. So I was wondering overall, uh, like if this is because uh, um, this is going to be in the distance. The like we're estimating that this release is going to be in October slash November of this year. Uh, so we this is a good this is a good uh, amount of time before before the uh, next gen comes out right now. And since it's March, but at the same time, it's very possible that like you know this uh, there is very limited uh, like the world that we're living in right now is still not going to be the same world that we were living at pre coronavirus in uh in in six to seven months so uh i was just wondering like what what y'all what y'all thought like would it be something that y'all would still want to do y'all feel like this is something that that it's out there far enough for them to be saying this now or do you do you believe them well like what what do, you, what do y'all have in y'all's mind if this if that's the case i think they could be optimistic about it i think that's what they're that they are being but no one can really say what the what the climate's going to be four to six months from from now and i think that's when we'll get a legit you know what i mean there's just no way to 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 say how it's gonna go Uh, and only that Mm -hmm. but depending on where it's being manufactured depend you know we could be you could be cool in one place but it's not cool over there or something like that so it's just too many factors right now for them to be able to realistically say yes it's definitely coming out i think they're just trying to be optimistic uh, and keep people excited about it, but uh, the real tell will be a month or two down the road, and and to look and see. I I feel like a lot of people are right now just going to be in a hold pattern. I think it's going to be like this majority of the summer, um, just kind of being in a hold pattern, seeing how things play out, and then making decisions from there. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, th- I mean, can I just comment the the Xbox looks like my router, like my new uh, fiber. <laughs> Uh, and I have knocked that thing down about six times. Um, I mean, it's cool. It doesn't look like roaches are going to get in there anymore. Um, I can't tell you how many times working at Circuit I had to open because consoles weren't working properly. I had to open it and there was just roaches inside. And that's why it was overheating. Um, oh, yeah. Spiders, roaches. It's nasty. Animal fur. Um, clean your systems, y'all. Uh, yeah. it looks cool, but again, I'm not an Xbox user. I, I'm kind of PC Master Race now. Mm-hmm. And here's the thing, and I was explaining this to my little cousin because he wants to stream. Um, which we had to cancel our fork knife. Sorry, guys. He was stuck in. He was stuck in Dallas. So I think we might do it tomorrow. I gotta message him after this. But here's my thing: is are they gonna have really any exclusive games besides Halo? Probably not. So I can download it on my computer and I can play it myself. Yeah, that'll so, probably be on the Game Pass. Exactly, and it's like, why would I bother buying a system? You know what I mean? I just, I, I have no okay. like. They look cool, but like, unless there's something that really entices me about it i'm probably just not going to but it goes back to like i said like uh like what we were talking about last week was that there's no reason to get an xbox if you have a good gaming pc because we know for a fact that the pc the gaming the games that come out for xbox is not going to be exclusively on the console right you can get it you will be able to play it on pc so but like games on the uh, on the ps5 on the other hand there are a lot of good like uh, proprietary games i mean a, a ton of them so uh, uh so i'm just saying that like overall that like the ga- uh, the reasons why uh the reason why it would be the is the sole proprietary games that are exclusive to the system yeah so like the, that that's why you don't have a feel of wanting to get it on the xbox or uh, on the xbox right uh but 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 there should be a feel on the playstation as and you there- Feel, and yeah, as well as you have a feel even on the Switch because of uh, Animal Crossing. I hate so, all like, of you. <laughs> just saying. Animal yeah. Crossing. <laughs> but yeah, but back to it though. Like overall, like to say that there's going to be a release. Yeah, to say that they that they're close, quote unquote, closely monitoring, uh, monitoring it. Well, you know what they PlayStation said they're closely monitoring, but Microsoft says that they're back to chain. They're back in production. 
So they clearly said they're back to production overall. So that's what I find very interesting to me on that, because that's like, that's a pretty bold statement in itself. So I was thinking like, wow, okay. So if they're able to say that now, let alone, we don't know like how shipping is going to be. We don't know how crazy that, uh, uh, that all this craziness is going to be happening that like that, that may happen within that time frame. It's like, uh, it, it's very interesting that they, that they're, that they're trying to nip this so early in the bud when, when there's no, like 100 percent confirmation of what's going to happen you know so I, I, I mean unless there's factories are completely like self-automated how can you like how, you can't guarantee something like that right like you have to have human testing are they chaining these people down like what's happening i'm a little confused do they have them in like separate cubicles so they don't you know what i mean like <laughs> like how are you court. right i don't he's so upset will you grab him please thank you um <laughs> i just uh you know i, I I don't know how they're saying that. No, oh, boy. I don't know how they're, I don't know how they're saying. I mean, I think they're, you know, again, it could be in the in, and I think depending on states or where the these uh, places are, I think some restrictions have been lifted. In they some have to places, be overseas, sort of, yeah. but there's no, still some no. sort of. There's still a level of. Uh, there's got to be at least some sort of level of. Uh, there's got to be a way that they're getting around it. Yeah, you know because. I mean? yeah. Well, because manufacturing is obviously overseas on Sony and on the Microsoft's parts. There's no way that these those these right. those systems are being built here in the U.S. Well, but then, like it, even the trade, like to Asia right now, it's it's been it's been halted essentially. It's not it's not right. halted, but it's the it's 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 a slow crawl right now uh, for for what's going on because that's actually mess that messed me up with some of the companies that I talked to too. But like the. Uh, uh it's just that i don't see like how they can i guess i just don't see how microsoft can promise that i mean but they're a multi-billion dollar company so who knows right. <laughs> you know, like they have their ways <laughs> but, uh, well yeah. uh, kitty i mean to kitty's point you know yeah why is the xbox 360 so expensive but um you know here's my thing. that's why yeah you can <laughs> You terraform, stop it. You can upgrade your computer for pretty. I mean, you can build a computer or upgrade your own, which would be half the cost if you just upgrade it. But building a computer is gonna be less than this new Xbox system, right? I mean, so? if I think so. I mean, like logistically have speaking, to, like, almost sell it at a loss, honestly, to get people. Well, the upgrades do. I've done on my PC, the yeah, the upgrades I've done to my PC, I think I've I paid less than eight hundred with the custom build and then the upgrades that i've done is less than 800 <clears throat> and even yeah. though, and i'm streaming so i had to do the upgrades for for quality purposes but i didn't have to if i'm not streaming right i'm just at home i'm playing games i'm an avid gamer it was like 420 about i, I feel that this game system yeah i feel that this system will have to range around at, at the max at, at six because of the reason why I say that is because PlayStation 3 was a really expensive system when that came out. And then when they came out, I believe there was one that was going for, I think it was 650 or 700. And they did horrible Dang. for like oh, two yeah. years Sales because of that. Suck. So like, so I think that they're, I think they're worried about that. That's why they're trying to keep that limit down to uh, like, I'm, I won't be surprised if Microsoft has like for different versions to keep that price down. So like, I think it's going to go to about, I think it's going to be an easy five or six, six hundred dollars. So, I, I think uh, that, is what it's going to be. Sorry, I, I think that because PlayStation talked about possibly, I think uh, two models dropping day one. I think that mm -hmm. base model will be like a four ninety nine, and then the Mega Deluxe uh, gamer model will be uh, five ninety nine. Are my thoughts as far as with that? Again, though, I also think they might be playing off of what Xbox. However, they could they can easily undercut waiting for xbox to say here's what our thing or what our price is um and then they they come in and that's where i think that they would even be willing to take a loss because they felt the pain of going too high and and suffering for years uh on the on the sales uh, of the console so i never so, ended up getting a ps4 here's my well ps4 is great um i'll, I'll be I, i'm an i'm an i'm an avid ps user even though halo is my first like gaming console love but here's my here's here's let's be honest here now if we're looking at how production works okay let's let's we'll break it down and use makeup as an example right let's say you buy an eyeshadow palette <laughs> you use makeup instead okay well, <laughs> but yeah i mean it's the same concept but 
this is made in the U.S., but let's say it's made overseas, okay? So you're cutting your costs by thirds when you do that, right? Mm -hmm. And they have to be doing overseas because in the U.S., you have to close if you are not essential business, right? So let's just put that out there. So overseas, this is like each each eyeshadow pan, like little pan is probably five cents to make so that you then you sell it for at least a dollar fifty right and that's how you add up your entire process of making a palette now let's put that into computer parts one little piece overseas is again maybe a dollar fifty so you're selling it at five dollars so they're they're inflating their prices they're not losing out on anything let me just tell you that they aren't computer parts they're making it overseas they're getting a really good deal on each piece and then they're taking that and shipping that to the main processing plant so they're not getting a loss let's just let's just be honest they're making a huge profit on each and every device that they sell that's how I don't know it if works they will, i don't know if they will on the first with the first gens because usually on the first gens they literally don't they get much on the sale but they're still making money I don't know. They did. They, they, they definitely do i just don't think that the the profit margin is is uh, is quite quite diminishing comparatively to the gen 2 or the gen 3s like like uh the gen you can't say that the gen 1 was get it was generating the same uh, like a gen 1 ps4 was generating the same price when they redesigned it to the to a yeah. cheaper uh, a cheaper lighter thing to a gen uh, the gen 2 i'm just saying that like the reason why they do that is so they can quickly release this thing out in the market uh faster to market uh, uh towards that but like i think the increase the amount of money that they get back towards it they cause it's i mean like it's not it's a gain for us but a corporation like microsoft or sony at that same level they it, it's 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 like it's like peanuts to them and that's what that's what that's what i'm saying like yeah. uh uh it, because yeah because like when like if a, if a movie uh if a movie's budget was 90 million dollars and then they got back their money and maybe let's say but their overall income uh back on that movie was 100 million or 110 million which would, would they consider that to be successful no because they didn't get nowhere near the amount of money that they got uh they they put they pumped into it so like that's 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 the reason that's that's the mentality that i'm getting it with uh, with these kind of with those yeah. kind of systems yeah they're not they're not getting like negative 50 bucks for every system that they're selling no it's, but it's like but it's still like not good enough with this with the market though i you know like with movies i feel like that's kind of to be expected you never really know if it's gonna blow up at the box office oh, unless no, it's exactly. a marvel movie mm -hmm. but uh, or dc because people will go hate watch but you know i i just i feel <laughs> you know what i mean uh hey birds of prey was good though i'll be i'll be real with y'all so <laughs> i just i don't know i feel like you know they say oh you know we didn't make that much but like they're like okay let's say they're selling it for 4.99 i can tell you right now that they're paying less than 200 to make those those devices you know what i mean and so yes it's peanuts to them selling a device and only making you know ooh, you got it uh 200 yeah. off of it but like in the grand scheme of things how many are they selling so then you know those peanuts turn into whatever i don't know i just it, they complain Listen. about not making that much money, and it's just like, ah, shut your mouth. <laughs> you guys are doing fine. I think too. I mean, I think we're we could potentially be on the cusp of, of maybe potentially these being the last what we consider consoles, uh, from yeah. these guys. You know what I mean? We've seen the moves that Sony made with the uh, dealings with the uh, Microsoft to be able to tap into their infrastructure. Um, you know, I. I guarantee over this next cycle we're going to be seeing some major uh developments as far as cloud gaming and how far it can go we've we've seen people trying to push the boundaries we've talked about geforce now uh but they've had struggle as far as getting develop developers to stay on it but uh they're mm -hmm. definitely on the things and i think other people are going to be trying to or are already trying to catch up and then be able to have a release to where consoles aren't even needed anymore you're just throwing down on a subscription or something and and you know again i don't know that things will completely phase out because people always have an affinity uh for having physical things like that uh yeah. yeah but i can see that you know what i mean that next wave this next generational push as far as video games and and gaming in general and connecting socializing is all going to be cloud-based um and and they're definitely gonna be working hard uh this next cycle uh mm. to, to get us there i think yeah. yeah okay that's good all right let's wrap this sucker up uh lex what do you have up uh up for grabs this week for you 
Oh, well, Adam just said he's buying uh, Doom Eternal, so I'm going to go punch him, knock him out, and play it. Um, <laughs> no, uh, you, you know, I don't... Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Uh, possibly. He's home, so Adam is home and doing his thing. So we're kind of working out, because uh, I'll go to sign in into his account thinking he's not here, and he is. Uh, so certain games are off limits for me this week, but we'll definitely be doing some fun things. I have some new games, so we'll play those this week. I'm going to keep it secret. Spoopy Tuesday, of course, will happen. I'm not sure what's going on for tomorrow. We may play Fork and Knife. We'll see. Uh, I got to talk to the little uh, and see what he wants to do. But uh, yeah, I'm probably going to go grab Dax and go snuggle in bed with him because he's not feeling good and play some Persona 5 for today. Keep him company. Yeah, okay, he's that's not, good. good. Also, what's your what's your Twitch? Uh, Twitch.tv. This underscore is underscore Lex. All right, awesome. Smitty, what do you got? To, what do you have for the week? Um, nothing special planned. We'll see. Obviously, we're not going to be able. I was planning on Thursday doing Last Oasis again. Um, mm. but we'll see. I have to. Uh, we might go back to like Home Sweet Home or something. I still have that. Uh, left to finish, but we'll figure something out. Or maybe like Destiny Two. Uh, and then and then like always, uh, Friday will be uh, um, on Overwatch, of course. And then uh, hopefully I'm I'm able to. Things should be slowing down. I'll do maybe some comp. I definitely want. Well, I was talking about doing some comp uh, here afterwards. Uh, maybe oh. if you guys are diggity 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 down. That'd be no, great. I'm not. Is... I know you're not. Not you. You're not, you're not fighting. Not Davis. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So I'll probably keep it. Uh, hopefully this week I'm really going to focus on building my desk. I've had it for like three weeks. It is literally sitting in two boxes up here. I have not uh, been able to have it because it's or been able to get to it. Just been super busy at work. So. With some of those projects finished and whatnot, I should be able to uh, focus on some other things uh, and then some behind-the-scenes stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what the Lex, week looks like for me. Lexa, so this this extra life, we need to do Monster Prom, dude. I was oh, just thinking about it. Absolutely. I totally, Kitty, yeah, Kitty Mew just reminded me when he saw that. I was like, I, I'll put that, I'm putting it on the list if we do that. Do monster, I do have it. Prom. So we can definitely play Monster Prom. And I have all the DLCs. Uh, yeah. they, they message me quite a lot. So maybe that's what we'll do this week. Maybe we'll play yeah. some Monster Prom, guys. That's cool. All right. And uh, CFG Games, uh, I'm going to be <sighs> back. Uh, of back with some streaming this week finally after some cr of this hiatus so like uh uh, uh it's probably gonna be at more at the end of the week but we're gonna probably play some uh some more uh uh what was i playing before uh astral chains that's what it was astral chains on the switch on the weekday mm -hmm. and then on the on saturday we're gonna do an anime uh, anime uh game uh we're doing a, a one piece pirate warriors four with the with the with the group of us so that's always right. that was always fun so uh definitely check us out cfg games uh, Faye, you want you want to support out yours too? <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, you can girl. find me twitch.tv slash Pompadour Princess. I am being the world's worst mod right now because I don't know why this didn't copy and paste right. Or <laughs> <laughs> find all the other, but no. I'll, I'm gonna um, add. I need to add shortcuts. It'll be a lot easier for you. So for sure. uh, yeah, we'll definitely add shortcuts. Um, I was playing a ton of Don't Starve Together with my friends the other night. <gasps> yeah. And then I join you. Yeah, Lex might join. I totally have. Yes. Um, I know. Yeah. Definitely, especially right now because I'm not working at the moment. Uh, um, oh yeah, that's right. Definitely that's... gonna be working on streaming more, getting it more. more uh, stuff, I don't... Uh, regular. Yeah, I I don't have a shout out command at all on this uh, on this channel yet, but we will. Yeah, we don't have the command uh, yet. Yeah, so, uh, but yeah, but guys, thanks for stopping by. Uh, Twitch and Twitter. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to close off uh, episode 41, as always. Uh, thank you for stopping by. You can always check out this every episode. We, we, we oh, release it on podcast yeah. services on Monday mornings. Uh, so you can definitely check it out at CFG Gamecast on podcast or podcast on Google, uh, Google or Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio or Podbean. Go to the website, the CFG.net. Click link. The, the link is below. Uh, and we will see you again next week with a new episode. We're going to be bringing a special guest on this one. So it's going to be a four panel one. Hopefully everyone is going to enjoy it. Enjoy it. It's going to be on Sunday. So definitely get uh, tune in on this around the same time. So this is Davis, Smitty, and Lex signing off. Y'all have a great night.